So Alicia is not feeling well this morning, so we are, we as in me, are going to make her an actual breakfast. Um, I just had the bar this morning and some AG1, not sponsored, um, but I think she thinks, she thinks she's getting a cold and she's kind of crabby this morning, kind of meaning like. <laughs> Um, and so I'm going to make her some sort of something, so. So this is some old food, like a day old food that Alicia made for breakfast that we still have leftovers. So I'm going to do some leftovers, add some potatoes some seasoning, some cheese, and kind of do it up a little. the day off slightly different um Alicia's not feeling so good so she's going to relax this morning and we have a whole bunch of these dirty rags that need to be cleaned and I mean filthy so we're gonna just kind of relax do that and then I think eventually once Alicia's up and about we will start tackling the walls here in the kitchen and the ceiling but you know, as things can change, we might be upstairs, we might be in a basement that we don't even have. <laughs> We're gonna go take a, our very first walk ever <laughs> since winter in our yard. Delivery! Ooh, delivery! It just pulled up, so. Delivery! Again, I'm receiving new cameras. <laughs> 
Okay. Let's get going. A blind, <laughs> the deer blind. Um, it's not very far from the cabin, but this is it. We're going to tear it down. Not right now, but <laughs> right now. And um, we are planning or building uh, like a little small cabin or something, whether it's for us or the Airbnb. in the backyard we are trying out this like water resi resistance um, putty um, or mud whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna start doing the wall um, the main wall and Alicia I'm not sure she's either gonna do the ceiling she kind of is all over the place the ceiling or the opposite wall painting it because it's already dry walled so No, when I do the corners, I like to do half and half because I have to fill and it just takes so much filling that when I, uh, by the time I get down to the bottom to fill, <laughs> then I go to the tape, it's already dry. So I just do half and half for the corners, especially this corner. It was so thick. Like there's so much space in between the two drywalls. I had to put so much filler in there to fill it in. That's my booty. That's your booty.
I love the sound of the water, which is from the melting snow, just kind of dripping, if you can hear it. Anyway, I am about to do those patches that I did a couple weeks ago, last week maybe. I'm going to, ooh, um, not drywall them, but putty them and tape them, and I think I'm going to be done for the night. Alicia actually didn't really do much. Um, she came out a few times, but she's not feeling good today. Oh. <sighs> I hate when they do some dog sledding because it's so annoying. You can hear the echo in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, um, so I think I'm going to do that real quick. And then maybe I'll just be done for the night. Or maybe I'll just take a relaxed moment and then go back to doing some work. But the kitchen wall is completely plastered. Pina colada. Some messed up shit right there. I haven't even got the fun part. This is the fun part. I believe in you. Wait, ready? <laughs> <laughs> so close. Just... Oh, oh, yeah. Snort it now. So she keeps it there. Smearing it on your hat. <laughs> you getting close up to me? Good. Was that good for you? You're having way too much fun. So Alicia and I are in lots of pain. I've been in pain for days now. I think I have like some sort of nerve issue. You know, she didn't work on the house much today. Um, I'm exhausted. So we are going to um, help do some CBD. 100% CBD, no THC. Make it into a tea, relax. Um, there is a bowl, not a bowl, but a bowl in the house that I'm trying to catch right now. He's been in the house for days and I see him three to five times a day. And so, yeah, anyway, we're gonna have some tea and then go to sleep and hope we can catch this bowl. If we don't see you guys after the tea, we will see you guys in the morning. It's not dark, but it's, I think it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Right? And I took it out pretty quickly. Cause remember last time I made it and you were like, Bleh. Yeah, no, this is cool. Good. Hopefully, I help our broken body. <laughs> hmm. And dark. <laughs> dark.
Good morning guys. So it's been days <laughs> when Alicia was sick. Alicia's at work and uh, it was a very rough morning. Um, we both got up at four and could not sleep. And then all the animals and the mice and just, uh. Anyway, I'm home, clearly. But um, I am uh, vlogging from a new camera, again. A new lens, again. With a new mic, again. And I got two setups. So, what you guys just seen me doing, going to get mail, was the second camera with lens and mic. And they're actually identical. I just got them from two different sources. And they are cameras that I have already used and they are professional and the other one is more of a vlogging camera. And this is a pro photography camera that I'm gonna be using for video. I'm going to get back to finishing these walls. So I'm going through something right now. Um, I really don't know how this YouTube is supposed to go. Is it supposed to be just DIY, cabiny, off grid type of stuff? Or, you know, can I still discuss uh, my eye? <laughs> should I, <laughs> or should I still discuss my health? Or the fact that right now I've been struggling with PTSD for, um, I don't even know now, uh, over a month. Um, but really hitting hard the past two weeks and even so the past like week and even more so today um, anyway that's what's happening and you know Alicia called and I had to like talk it through and just ways to go through this chapter in my life where PTSD is real and it's a struggle but I think that I'm going to just do staining today of trim that we're going to use in the future. It's simple, it's easy, and I get to kind of just use my phone for some Netflix um, because there's no TV in this room and leave the walls for another day because you guys have already seen walls and it just becomes very boring, so. All right. We have to stain twice um, because we originally used this color and the color wasn't great at all. Um, it was too, I don't know, brown and we needed more red. We went through many colors and finally found red oak. But when, when you, oh, this is almost empty. When we use red oak on this wood, it's too light. The red color is perfect, but we need something that's got a deeper tone. So like if this was a deeper tone wood, it would have worked. So we have to still use the original color to make it more brown and then top it with the red coat. We have, I don't know how many Alicia got, but many of these, maybe like 30. I'm going to do just a few of them, I think, today. Um, I wanted to show you something. So Alicia and I came across this really cool slab of wood. Um, and it's basically like a live wood. So it has the bark and everything. And we've seen it in Minnesota when we were there for my birthday in February. And, um, sorry, it's snowing and it's really pretty right now. And um, we didn't purchase it. Then this past, like, a few days ago, we seen it again here in town at like a local like store. Um, I think we found it at Menards. So we got it. Um, where we wanna put it, it's too big. We're gonna have to cut off like six inches, maybe even more. But I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. This is it here. Um, and this is the smallest piece, which we could use elsewhere. The rest of them are much 
thicker, not thicker, wider. Um, the thickness is all the same, so this whole part's two inches. Has the natural wood, which is super cool. Um, we brought home four. We would have took more, and then if we needed to return them, but the rest of them had no bark because the bark is live, which means it's still there. <laughs> These are called a live edge or live wood. Um, so we have to be really caref careful with them. So we're debating if we want to stain this wood. All right, they are still drying, but um, it's snowing out and it's coming down really bad. I'm curious what the weather is like. Let's check the weather channel. Ready or not, the snow is coming. We seem to have a theme this year, this winter. Oh this no! Is no! Alarms are going off. We are, I guess, about to have yet another blizzard. Just when the weather was getting warm. We have been getting some nice spring weather. 38 degrees doesn't sound like amazing, but it is when you're normally in the negatives. We've had 40 degree weather, things are melting and it's snowing badly <laughs> um this is just the beginning but we are about to get 24 inches of snow overnight and we are not looking forward to it but it's going to make for a beautiful evening and with that i want to go out and take some photos while the storm is happening before it gets too bad so i'm going to stop for the day and go take a little road trip oh burr the winds are picking up, all the trees are crackling. It's just, it's just so beautiful and I absolutely love snow and I love when it's just this twinkling, glistening, light that hits the ground and it makes me smile and again most people think it would be depressing and that help those who are going through hard times but for me it makes me smile and i get to go out and take photos and it's just what i need to end uh, this vlog with you know the hard times i've been having <sighs> and all the construction here at the cabin It's a beautiful place. It's really beautiful here. <laughs> 